Hey, welcome. This video is part of a series. There should be a link in the description of the video to the full playlist. I recommend checking out previous videos. Again, I'm using Scratch Online at scratch.mit.edu, uh, which uh, I'm just using this because I figured it'd be quick for people to start off. But if you're really going to start using Scratch, I do recommend downloading the uh, the full version. It does run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, I say full version. Download the desktop version, the laptop version. Uh, just because this is using Flash, Flash is slowly dying, um, and I really recommend not using it. I'm only using this just because, again, to make it easy for people who are first coming to Scratch, uh, but I definitely recommend downloading a copy if you can. Um, so today we're gonna look at changing how our sprite looks. So again, this is our sprite. Any 2D object in the game is a sprite. So this is our cat is a sprite. And if we go to costumes, you can see that there's two different uh, costumes for the cat. You know, I guess it's kind of supposed to be like a walking animation. His legs are different. Um, but let's go ahead and get rid of these. I guess you have to have at least one there, but you have options up here. You can, uh, uh, if you have a camera hooked up, take a picture with a camera. You can upload a picture. You can draw your own. Or if you go here, you can choose a, cost a costume from the library where they have a bunch of images already set up for you, which is great. And they're broken down into categories so uh, or themes. So let's go to animals. And I'm going to grab this bat here. So I'm going to say, OK. So we have the cat and the bat. And you can switch between how they look. Now, let's go back to scripts. So again, we were in costumes, now we're in scripts. And I'm gonna say that I want the game to start, I want him to start off as a cat and then change to a bat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say event and I'm gonna say when that is clicked, then over here under looks, we can choose how he looks. And I'm gonna say switch to costume, bat A. So you, er, so bat A or costume two as the cat is labeled. If we go back to costumes here, we can relabel this and I'm just gonna call this cat so that I know it's the cat. Now I've come back to scripts and drop down here, I'll choose cat. So no matter what he looks like at any point, when I start the game, he's gonna look like the cat. Now I'm gonna to go to events again and I'm gonna say, uh, we'll say when he is clicked, cause that's always fun to do. We're gonna say, make him look like the bat. So now I can start my game and when I click him, he turns to the bat. I click him again, he still looks like the bat. So what's another option is I can say, instead of making him look like something in particular, I can drag that away and I can say, jump to the next costume. So it's just gonna go forward in order. So I'm gonna say, start this. He's the cat when I click start and when I click him, he turns to the bat. If I click him again, he goes to the cat. And then every time I click him, he goes back and forth. So I guess it's a cat turning into a bat. Another option would be we can remove the cat image. We can go back to our library here, animals, and we can choose bat B and say open. And now when I start the game, well, let me go back to scripts here. Uh, cat no longer exists. So let's go ahead and just say he's bat A when we start. Boom. And now when I click him, every time I click him, it's, it's like he's flying. So we can have him look like he's flying every time I click him, he's flapping his wings. Or like in previous videos, we can go to event or controls and say forever. So we can start him off as one and say next. And when I click start, he's gonna flap his wings, but you can see he's flapping really, really quick. I'm not even sure if the screen recorder, it might look slower in the screen recorder because it's recording at a lower frame rate, but he's flapping really, really fast right now. Let's go ahead and stop that. So what can we do? Uh, well, uh, somewhere it's probably gonna be under uh, sensors, right? Uh, motion, I'm looking for something that says wait and I forget where it is. Data, event, probably under controls. Wait here, wait one second. So we can put this here and instead of waiting one second, we'll say wait, 0.1 seconds and now if we start now he's flapping at a slower rate than he was before because before he was just going just as fast as the computer could make him flap so if we want to flap a little slower we can say 0.2 or 0.3 if we want him to flap or sorry lower the number the the faster he flaps because that's the how long you're waiting in between each one uh, let's see I'm not sure if a scratch can do zero one 
Um, I can't tell if that's any slower than just one. It is slower than one. So you can do uh, 0 0.01. It's a bit faster. Or you can do 0.1. But now he's flying around. And like before, we can go back to what we were doing in a previous video. And I can say, um, well, I can add to this for loop motion. And I can say I want him to go to the, or not his position, but under sensors, mouse. Let's get that in there. There we go. Mouse X, mouse Y. And now he's flapping and he's following my cursor. The problem with this is he's following the cursor with that 0.1 delay. So another option would be to grab another control or event and say when the game starts, do another control of forever and move our mouse in there. So he has a delay on the animation of his wings flapping, but he will follow our cursor pretty clearly. So there we go. We've got a bat that flies around with our mouse cursor and he flaps his wings. We're getting there. We're having some fun. So I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you're enjoying this series. It is a series. Uh, there's a link in the description to the full playlist. Uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.